Hi everybody, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee and we're going to take a look at Hurricane Matthew, an absolutely impressive hurricane as it begins to uh, move toward the Florida coast. And, and you can see on this radar image, we have the Miami radar. It's just the eye is now just beginning to come into range here. And you can see the outer bands spiraling back westward. Some of those bands have already been reaching uh, the coast of Florida and, and coming inland. And as they come inland, they do tend to weaken some, but the uh, core of the hurricane is still well offshore. And I suspect that this radar view is going to get more and more impressive uh, with time. Uh, let's show you on the satellite loop, and there's a uh, missing image frame in there. That's why it, it does that. That's been happening from time to time uh, lately, uh, beyond my control. Uh, that's uh, how the, uh, the satellite came down. It just came down as a blank image. But there's the eye, still very well formed. Matthew still has uh, a very uh, uh, impressive look to it. Uh, there, I have not seen a reconnaissance aircraft report since uh, early this morning by around 9 or 10 a.m., So, uh, but uh, the last pressure was 939 millibars, and on the most recent advisory, uh, um, maximum sustained winds are at 140 miles an hour. This is a Category 4 hurricane. Now, what I'm showing you here is the HRRR model. This is one of those short-range, uh, super short-range models, and we're looking at South Florida here, and you can see um, over time, uh, there's the eye, and it just brings it inland. It's, it brings it inland north of, well north of Miami, north of Palm Beach, but not by very far. So somewhere near, let's say, Fort Pierce, somewhere between um, Vero Beach and, and Fort Pierce, right in that range, it, it, it comes on inland and then passes, uh, looks like the eye passes just to the north of Lake Okeechobee. So that's really important. Uh, and it's also moving along. Uh, in terms of the time reference, if you want to see the loop in terms of the time reference, you can see it there uh, when it starts. So it comes on shore right around 9 or 10 o'clock tonight and then uh, continues on its track uh, toward the north-northwest, probably just inland of the coast. Uh, this is um, this model's view. The HRRR model uh, sometimes is very good and sometimes it's not so good. Uh, so uh, we kind of use it with caution, but I, I think this pretty well lines up with what the other models are doing. Now we'll take a look at the GFS and from this afternoon. Uh, it takes Matthew uh, northward, just inland of the coast. It actually brings it inland a little further north than what the shorter range models are doing. Uh, probably more toward uh, Cape Canaveral, Daytona Beach, and then brings it up and straddles it along the Georgia coast over Savannah and to just south of Charleston. And it, it's at this point um, we see the loop beginning. Now we're at Saturday night. Now the hurricane is likely to weaken uh, probably into a tropical storm because of some wind shear issues that are going to be developing. And then it moved, the model continues the trend of the last three days looping it and moving southwestward so that by uh, Monday night, Tuesday, it's back into South Florida as a weaker tropical storm. But one of my concerns with this is that by, by doing that, uh, Florida is going to get it essentially in two punches where it gets the wind and heavy rain in the shot that comes through tonight. But then when it comes back as a tropical storm, uh, this could be a, a, a very big rain producer uh, for Florida, particularly for Central and South Florida for uh, Monday and Tuesday. But we're going to have to look and see just exactly what is left. And by the way, right here is uh, Tropical Storm Nicole, which is very close to becoming a hurricane, by the way. And we'll ro roll it back. So if we want to watch Nicole and how it's interacting uh, with Matthew, it's really, they're sort of now anchored together doing a little bit of what's known as the Fujiwara effect, which is uh, when these storms get too close together, uh, they basically tend to rotate around each other and that's what is happening here and eventually Nicole is gets freed of Matthew and then moves away to the northeast. Don't be surprised if Nicole becomes a hurricane uh, at some point um, through all of this. Uh, I want to uh, show you also the European model which uh, pretty much is in line with the uh, GFS. Let me roll it back uh, to some degree. Uh, it moves it inland uh, near the same spot, maybe a shade further south. Uh, brings it up east of the just east of the Georgia coast and then takes it east from there and begins that that tight clockwise loop 
back to the Bahamas, and then back just to the east of Miami. This is uh, Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, then kind of takes it from there and moves it uh, east-northeast. And this would be uh, next Friday. So it is a very, very um, serious situation for Florida here with this Category 4 hurricane. There is time. Conditions are still favorable for strengthening from now until the time it makes landfall. So there is a possibility that this could um, increase in strength even further and possibly in terms of the wind uh, go back close to Category 5 status. I would not be surprised to see that. Um, I think it's for sure going to come inland as a, a Category 4, and that is capable of doing quite a bit of destruction. Uh, and that hurricane moving just inland of the coast is going to carry that uh, those hurricane force winds from uh, almost from just north of Miami in Fort Lauderdale. It'll probably be the southern extent of the hurricane force winds all the way up to uh, Jacksonville and beyond. And then, of course, coastal residents in, in uh, coastal Georgia, coastal South Carolina, uh, will be experiencing uh, hurricane conditions and uh, some rains and tropical storm conditions likely even to spread into the uh, southeastern coastal areas of North Carolina. So uh, we'll keep you abreast of all the developments and keep an eye on the radar. Uh, and in the meantime, don't forget to uh, check in and tune in for all the latest on Matthew and all the weather, breaking news on Fios 1 News Long Island, Fios 1 News New Jersey, and Fios 1 News Hudson Valley.